So number 13 then from paper 2 of the 2016 National 5 Maths. There we are, adding two fractions, adding two algebraic fractions. Give your answer as a single fraction in its simplest form. Now you may notice these two things at the side. They are not there to scare you, that's just a wee disclaimer to say, well, x can't be 2, because if it was 2, that'd be 0, and you can't divide by 0. Same for that. x couldn't be negative 1, because that would come to 0, you can't divide by 0. But you probably just ignore that anyway. Right, you can only add fractions if they've got the same denominator. They don't, so you'll have to find a common denominator for them both. Now, I'm not going to write down that common denominator twice, because it'll be long. If it's a common denominator, then they'll share it. So x minus 2 times x plus 1 always works. Well, because when you multiply two numbers, each number's bound to divide into it, since it was in there already. As it is here, what would you multiply x minus 2 by? x plus 1. No surprise, because that's what you multiplied it by. So this gets multiplied by x plus 1. x plus 1, what did you multiply it by? x minus 2. So multiply this by x minus 2. Now it did say simplify, that means don't just leave it like that, get that tidied up. So 3 times that bracket is 3 times the x, and 3 times the 1. 5 times that bracket is 5 times the x, minus 5 times the 2 is 10. But leave this alone, just in case. By chance, the top comes to an expression which factorises down to one of them. And then they could cancel out. 5x and 3x, that's 8x. I'll put this bit down just now. And if this other part was a plus 8, I'd have an x plus 1 factor to cancel out that. Or a minus 16, I'd have an x minus 2 factor to cancel out that. But I've got a minus 7, so that's the end of that then. So, there we go. Is that question done? That'd be a bit messy.